and one, two, three. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Absolutely and totally yes, welcome back to my channel. This is a quick but special video. Do you want to become profitable trader within 24 hours? Do you want to pass the prop you know prop trading firm challenges? Or if you simply want to increase your profit ratio and decrease your losses, then this video is for you, okay? Because in this, this I'm gonna keep it short. Short and simple. There is no there are no secrets in trading, education and practice is the key long-term success and to be successful in trading it doesn't mean you know uh you know look at like, like for example last friday i placed this one bitcoin sale trade whoa i'm making what is it 2.5 thousand dollars in profits from one simple trade it's nothing okay because the thing is this that you can win one day and you can lose your profits the other day you know you need to keep consistent but once you follow these couple of rules i'm going to explain you in this quick video it should it will change your training game and you should become profitable trader if not please contact me okay email me and i will try to i will try to help you as much as i can and i will also you know get my admin traders on board so this is a, okay th these trades are done by the auto trader i use auto trader uh, on this account which is making me currently 21 and a half thousand dollars in profits Couple of these these trades are not new. Some many of these trades are from one week ago, two weeks ago. But these are all automated. So if you want to uh, use Auto Trader to generate passive income, then you are welcome to click on the first link below the video to get your Auto Trader. If you are interested, there is a free Auto Trader plan and there is also a paid plan. So the only way to become profitable trader instead of losing trader is to follow you know the top 10% of the traders. So first of all, okay how to trade smart okay how to trade smart how to be you know the top 10 trader because in trading as you know more than 90 percent of the traders fail in terms of being profitable okay so how to be so let's let's take a look at this okay so how to be the top profitable trader is basically not doing what 90 percent of people are doing okay and you might think that it's quite simple okay but you need to you need to you need to remember these points whenever you before you place any trade before you analyze so let's jump quickly in so first of all what you should not do what 90 percent of people are doing is going after every uptrend which is kind of ridiculous so people whenever people see the uptrend 90 percent of people whenever whenever people see something is going up in value okay they love to fomo in and they love to buy because they see the uptrend and what happens is the usual, you know, people see the uptrend, people see the beautiful uptrend and they buy in, okay, and then what happens is the price reverses and people lose all their money. So the long story short is don't FOMO in and don't buy because you see the uptrend. Because at the uptrend, it doesn't mean that there is a you know, trading possibility to make profits. We should only trade whenever we see profitable trading opportunities. So going after every uptrend is a big fail. Let me just let me just put it right here. This is a big fail. Now the next one, spreading over 100 different assets. So it doesn't matter what you trade, forex, cryptocurrencies, stocks, indices, commodities, you know, don't you know, stop spreading over 100 different assets. What do you trade? Do you trade forex? If you trade forex, then stick only to forex majors. Euro USD, GBP, JPY, um, do you trade, you know, forex majors? There are many forex major pairs, but stick to the top five, six, and that's it. Uh, if you trade uh, commodities, great, trade gold and study gold. And believe me, if you trade only a couple of assets or even one asset, I have a couple of you know members in my trading community who makes more money by only trading gold. Imagine they only some some of the members are only trading gold. That's all they're trading, uh, you know. So it depends what you trade and how you trade. But don't sp start spreading around many 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 trading assets. So uh, now, furthermore, forcing trades to meet your goal. So many people are <laughs> you know, when they place the trades. Are you forcing the trades to meet your goal? You know, do you really want to put market in place? It's never gonna happen. Market will always put you in place as a trader, especially if you're a retail trader. The market will go, you know, where it's supposed to go, and nobody knows the actual direction of the market. So what we can do is simply scan the markets, 
look where are the profitable opportunities in the market and stick to those. So for example, you know, if, if you bought after this breakout, so there's a Bitcoin breakout there on th last Thursday, the price reversed quickly. Uh, so imagine how many people who traded, you know, who placed the buy trades right here with the leverage. How many people were liquidated in here? It's just, it's, it's mind blowing. So the bigger the volatility, the more possibilities to make profits, but also the higher the risks. So do never, for, be never forcing trades to meet your goal, you know. It, you know, remember that the trade could reach your take profit level or it will reach your stop loss level. But make sure that you, you know, you do place your take profit and stop loss levels on every single trade. Now the last one is trying to get rich in a week. So this is the, this is a disaster. So many newbie traders want to get rich within a week or, or a couple of days and they increase their, their, their leverage and increase their, you know, the lot size. Remember that every single trade that you place should not be more than two to three percent. Two to three percent from your whole balance. How much is that depends on your balance. So if you're a newbie trader and if you trade on a MetaTrader platform, then you should always place, you know, trades no more than 0.01 lots. If you have, if you have balance of less than, uh, you know, $500, $400. Still, you want to be a profitable trader? Simply don't do this. Don't do this. Let me cross it. Don't do this. So how to be a profitable trader? To be a profitable trader, do this instead. Do this instead. Let's take a look at it, okay? So we are going to focus on this only. So how to be the top 10? Follow these four, four points. Wait for the opportunity like sniper. Yes. The more profits you get, the, the, the more profitable traders are the ones who are the most patient traders. We never trade whenever we want to trade. No. So the best trading sessions is from one o'clock to four o'clock, which is the New York trading session. Like, do you think, you know, you know, I really want to trade on that session every single day? No, I don't. But I must because that's the best time to, you know, to generate signals and to generate, you know, trades, to generate profitable trades, because that's the best time, you know, where we will see profitable trading opportunities, because we only trade to make profits, not because we want to trade. Now, next one, focusing on few value stocks or few value assets. Again, this is the vice versa of what we explained. So don't focus on 100 different assets, focus on few. You trade Forex, focus on five to six Forex majors. You trade gold only, great, trade gold against dollar. Or if you, if you trade crypto, scalp Bitcoin against dollar or Ethereum against dollar. Now the next one, uh, this point right here. Don't, don't force your trades if they are there, okay? So don't force your trades, let the trades go. And always remember, whenever you place the trade, ask the question, why did you place that trade? And last one, but this is kind of not very related to the trading, uh, but it's gonna change your mindset, is to have a more, one than, more than one source of income. Because to make a trades, you need to have, you know, capital. But if, you know, if you have only one source of income, then, you know, it's very, very risky because you're putting all your eggs in one, you know, same basket. So ask yourself, how many sources of income do you have? Do you have only one source of income? You have only one source of income and you want to be a full-time trader? You know, what happens if you blow your account up? And what happens if you, you know, something happens to your single source of income? You know, it's gonna, it's, it can only end up badly, okay? So it's best, so it's best to, well, of course it's best to have a more source of income, but don't put all your eggs in the same basket. So make sure that maybe there is something else you can do in terms of generating income, not related to the trading. If you love trading and you're passionate about trading, it's great, but don't put all yourself into that trading arena because don't ever place all your eggs in the same basket. Now you may ask, uh, you may tell me, Andrew, okay, now we know what we should not do and what we should do in terms of being a successful, a profitable trader. But how to find those profitable trades? Here is the, here are the eight steps of how to find the most profitable trades in a market. It doesn't matter what you trade. First, step one, number one, look at the trend. Is the trend uptrending or downtrending? There are many sources you can use, okay, to, 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 you know, to distinguish this. If you need some help or if you need some trading tools, email me and I will provide you with some. Now, step number two, look for patterns and trend lines. Step number three, look at the 
key levels of higher time frames. I always told you guys, I always analyze your uh, trades by looking at the larger time frames first, then bring break down your time frames to smaller time frames. So daily time frame, four hour time frame, hourly time frame, and then 15 minute time frame to find scalping opportunities. Step number, next step, uh, number four, uh, use volume profile. So use volume profile, uh, volume profile and Fibonacci. So this is my volume profile, for example. You see this yellow line is point of control. The biggest volume in the, this particular asset of Bitcoin was this at this price point, 42.688. When it breaks that, you know, it was game over. So uh, we would already know that Bitcoin will crash from last Thursday, last Wednesday, actually. Last Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday it broke this. Uh, and now this is the five and, and the Fibonacci uh, it may, might look a little bit messy. Sorry about that. And this is the Fibonacci right here, which is giving us Fibonacci key levels. Okay. Uh, so you know, use these. Okay. Now next one is. Uh, Look at the candlestick patterns. I have made candlestick pattern videos. Learn candlestick patterns. You know, learn how, which candlestick combination means uptrending, which combination means that the price is going to drop. And then step number seven, uh, use stop loss orders. And step number eight, uh, set your target profit levels. So always uh, set your stop loss and uh, take profit target levels. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to join me and my trading team and generate profits such as these, uh, okay, you, then you're always welcome to join us. It's going to be the first, the second link below the video. This link number, which says link number one, you can join my trading team, my training community, and copy our profitable trades every single day for life. Okay, um, and uh, if you want to get Auto Trader, you can still get a chance to get to the Auto Trader. It's going to be this very first link below the video. But always remember, education practices to keep fun from success. I love you all, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. I love you all. Trade safely, trade responsibly, stay wealthy and healthy, and see you on the next side. Bye bye. God bless.